chance to look at the minutes? I did not. But if other people did, I'm sure they're fine. I had two little things. Mm -hmm. Under the director's report, the first bullet point, mm -hmm. um, it was neither one of those boards. It was Linda Sanderson and Carolyn, so town manager and Linda's title is? She's the treasurer? Yes. They were the ones who reviewed it and made the change. And then the last bullet point under director's report, in the second line, I think the question mark can just be a period because that, as far as I'm concerned, that captures yeah. the essence. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any other. I guessed on the adjournment time, by the way, because I didn't write it down and I remember getting home around 8.15, so. <laughs> I, I remember it was not a lengthy meeting, so it was about an hour. Can I have a motion? Unless does well a motion to approve the minutes to at least get them on the floor. In a second. Make a motion to approve the minutes of February 2024 with changes noted. And I'd second that. Are there any further comments? All in favor? Unanimous, thank you. Um, Patrick was scrounging around to make sure that he had corrected and final versions mm -hmm. of minutes. And I know he was in mm -hmm. touch with the two of you. Mm -hmm. But I thought it was just worth mentioning that once minutes or other documents on which we have voted are finalized, if we can all just be sure to send a final copy to Patrick with some notation in there indicating that it is, in fact, the last and official version. We do not have public for comment. Um, just a couple things from Patrick's report and then his follow-up email today which I didn't bring. Oh, fudge. Um, you didn't bring the email or the report? I didn't bring the email. I have a copy of the... Director's report dated 312, but mm -hmm. the email update he sent. I have it here. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. That's a Thank more you. readable size. Um, <laughs> just to note that given that the community has a number of residents now for whom English is not a primary language, he had been in touch with Greenfield mm -hmm. and is going to follow their example to some extent in order to be able to have Spanish and French available on our computers. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say that he had reached out to me before he talked to Greenfield, and I just want to acknowledge that um, I called Joe Comerford's office, which is how we got led to Greenfield, and oh. they were really responsive and got back to me right away and said, here's, here's a town with a similar situation, yep. and here's a director. So I just want to acknowledge how quickly She's a new a director, too. I think she just took over the job last summer. Yeah, so kudos to Greenville and kudos to Joe Comerford's office mm -hmm. who, you know, Patrick said, idea. what can you do? And I said, well, I'll call Joe Comerford. And, and they were really great and they were really helpful and said, you know, Greenfield's doing this great job and, and also said that they might be able to help us find 
you know, keep an eye out for grant funding or anything we can find around it. So they were really helpful. Sort of kind of tangentially related to that, I was at the West Springfield Library this past week and near their circulation desk, they had any number of little in-house produced pamphlets on several different kinds of resources that might be useful to newly arrived people for whom English is not the first language. And while the resources that they reference may not be available or readily available to people living here, just the fact that there was this brochure and whatever, um, I brought them in and gave them to Sue. Well, I also wanted, and I, I owe a follow-up call to Joe Comerford's office, if, if we want to invite them to come here and meet with folks, like ever, and like, yeah. you know, office hours here or something like that, um, because they were really interested and they were really helpful. I don't know, I know they're busy, but I, maybe even Joe Comfort would come, but maybe, you know, one she of some of the hours here, like a year or two. Yeah, she has done it but last year. Specifically even to meet with folks who, you know, like to, for resources and stuff like oh, that. Okay. Should I should I kind of email around, see if she, they're interested in coming back? Or I'll check with I Patrick. Think, yeah, I think I'll that check would, with Patrick first. Right, because because we didn't end time. the loop, like I started the loop and reached out to comfort for him, but now I need to circle back and thank them and like send I, Pat, go ahead and send Pat yeah, an email. I'll, I'll and you don't, you don't have to wait until he comes, comes back. back. Yeah. Okay. I think that would be an effective way to go about it. Thank you. Um, What was it Patrick wanted us to vote on? Oh, from the email? I think the um, roof, right? Something to do with the roof. What's the On the Charlotte Smith. Oh, 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 yes, the, the money for programming taken from the um, Charlotte Smith fund. We authorize the use of funds. Oh, up to 2000. Okay. Um, when we received the Charlotte Smith bequest, research was done by several people because no one knew her terribly well. I had a tangential quilting connection to her. But um, I spoke with someone who did know her very, very well. And in trying to come up with ideas and suggestions for ways to use the money that she left in some way that was connected to her life and might be relevant. And she was a scientist and worked for, I think, Department of Defense contractors, either Department of Defense directly or contractors. And one of the suggestions had been <clears throat> programming for young people that focused on STEM. Very, STEM. Yeah. various aspects. And so what Patrick is asking is that the trustees authorize the expenditure of up to $2,000 for summer programs to be paid for by the Shar Smith Fund. And I would like to make a motion to that effect. Second it. Any further discussion? All in favor? Okay. The other item in his email regards um, a future a future select board meeting talking about a charging station at the library and asking for a trustee or trustees to attend the meeting to be present. Do you know <laughs> when the select board is looking to do that? In the email it says next week's meeting. 
They usually meet on the first and third Wednesdays. Like right, they're meeting this week. It could be tomorrow. Wednesday. I don't think I'm. Right, they're meeting on the twentieth. Yeah. This month, uh, this week. Okay. But you're right. That's. I was thinking it was Tuesday because I'm so no, programmed to be at the library on yeah. Tuesday. <laughs> I know. I had to like. I had to like remind myself like five times that we had the meeting tonight because it's it's my out day. of the ordinary. Mm -hmm. um, I know that they, can, you know, they're always doing Zoom as well as in person, and I am more than happy to Zoom in and just listen in the background and. Jack, would you be interested in, if you're available? Not to say that you're not interested. Yeah, this Wednesday I won't be. Okay, that's fine. Then I will. I, I'm kind of wondering where the, like why this wasn't brought to the trustees yeah. or yeah. where this came from. We are the stewards of the building. So I just know that, you know, in my past generation as a trustee, we took care of the building and we take care of this building and i just think it's important that if somebody has an idea that they come to the trustees there should there should be conversation at the administrative level as well as Absolutely. at the board level do you think that when patrick wrote this and he said um, his understanding was there was an installation of a card charging station at the library, but that phrase of the library was broad based for the whole thing. No, I don't think so. No. End, no. no. Okay. Because it was brought up that night uh, at the, um, it was brought up at the meeting. At the strategic planning. At the, thank you. <laughs> at the strategic planning meeting and Patrick specifically asked the question if it was going, if this was something that the whole town was doing yeah. or if it was just for the library. And he was told it was just for the library, so which yeah. we looked at. We looked at the possibility of a charging station out there. Allison brought a, I forget what the name of the yeah. company was, to our meeting. Um, there just were a number of logistical challenges. We weren't ready to to meet at that at that point. Um, so it's not like this is out of line in terms of like, oh right. no, don't park right. cars. Right. Right. right, right, right. But like, but to just do it without our participation in the conversation is bizarre. Right. Yes. <laughs> it seems it seems like you know it seems to me like the pipeline for something like that should be either Carolyn to Patrick or select board to us. Like that should be the pipeline of information. I mean, I understand that Jane has the role of being liaison, but there's, there should have been other conversations prior to that. Um, I did talk to Patrick about this last week before he left, and my recollection is even though the sign is right out there by the door, parking for mm -hmm. electric, mm -hmm. that it is not possible to put a charging station right. there. If we were to have one, it would have to be at the far end by the end of the children's room. I believe. I thought that and down what, here was also an option. If I, I may be. Well, that's what, that is right. now what apparently is under consideration, is running something from Goodwin to that side yeah. of the parking lot. Hmm. I am not sure, but I will find out tomorrow night. And oh, I will the let far you know. side of the parking lot. <laughs> Which technic is, I wonder, are the parking spots on the other side of the driveway considered part of the library? Or are they considered part of the Goodwin building? I think they're, the they're part well, of the Goodwin building. Then but they're not exclusive. It's, yeah. it's town parking. The only yeah. designated parking is the V1 parking. Yeah. But the rest of it is town parking. When this building was under construction, did they pre-wire for electric? For an EV uh, charger, I that we know. did discuss that yeah. when the rep came, and I don't remember. Okay, I don't know. Good question. Okay, so I think that we've taken care of the items. I'm just looking at the agenda for their meeting on the twentieth to see if there's. 
see if there's anything about it. I went to their last meeting and Jane met, made the point of saying, we're not discussing the EV tonight. So that was okay. 10 days ago. Hmm. Maybe we could write an email and ask. Who's the, ch is Molly the chair? No, Amy, Amy Parsons. Amy Parsons is chair. But I can ask Jennifer. Jennifer puts together the agendas and there may be something buried under one of the headings. They originally were going to be looking at some uh, possibility of solar on the transfer station, yeah. but that's gotten tabled. That's no longer, okay. yeah. Well, looks like we may be getting a skinny pancake. <gasps> Those are good. Yeah. <laughs> what is a skinny it's pancake? A, it's a, a uh, crepe oh. restaurant. Okay. There, okay. There's one up in Burlington. That's the only reason I know right. of it. In Woodstock. Uh, wow. Okay. I don't have my agenda. So, anyway, that's all I'm I seeing know. on the agenda. It's <laughs> <laughs> no worthy thing. <laughs> my daughter will be really pleased to learn that. <laughs> okay, I don't believe there are any other significant items, um, except I do know that Julia and Emily are have been spending a lot of time putting together programs for children. Mm -hmm. And I'm usually here on Tuesday and Thursday mornings and the little preschooler types and smaller are very much here with their big people. Um, And just for public information, I will mention that in addition to tax forms in English, we also have them with instructions in Spanish if someone were to be looking for that. Okay, board subcommittees. Strategic planning, Ms. Joaquin. So thank you all for coming on Tuesday. I think we had a really good session. Um, I'm kind of excited about the information we do have. I did send it to all of you and I have it up here. Um, the next step was I, I called our trustee data analyst Allison <laughs> and I said remember analyst. you said that you would help. Um, what do you think our next step is? So she was excited, looked over the data, asked me who was there, what types of folks were there, mm -hmm. and said she feels like the next step with all of the data is to um, cast a little bit wider of the net. Um, and so I was hoping with this group's support, I would leave the idea of like what questions to ask in the data analyst's hands mm -hmm. instead of mine, because she'll be more likely to interpret you know know how to what to ask and how to ask it um and i was hoping that's what allison and i could trudge forward and start to put together before our next meeting a plan for that and before i did that i did want to get some input from this group on just what you thought of the day what you thought of, you know i know it's a lot to look at but in general what you thought of the results i know it was a lot to take in over the weekend, so <laughs> I thought it was um, I thought it was remarkable how, in such a short process, we could generate what felt like a pretty solid and plan like not planned but sort of uh, a range. menu of topics that all seemed. Yeah, nothing. Nothing jumped out as like where. Where's this going? You know, like it. It was. Um, it feels like it really like jumped into things that um, I don't know. I've perceived. I've seen. It was a diverse-ish group for the size that it was. We did. When you said six minutes, I was like, come on, 
what are we gonna do in six minutes? No, you and then we those lists were huge. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean I was glad we had teens. We had uh, Patrick found us our dedicated night patron. We had <laughs> we had daytime patrons. I mean we really kind of pulled as many. We had friends. Um, we uh, we didn't have the doubters and skeptics and I wanted writing. that. Yeah, but, I mean, they're, but probably they're so not likely hard. to come, right? Yeah, like, that's like the hardest group to. But it's important that everyone's voice be heard. Yeah. But um, yeah, I would like to have seen um, some um, people with young families. There were people that had young th children there. You wasn't there someone who wasn't able to come with the young person? There was one person yeah. who wasn't able to come with the young person, and there, uh, there was someone at your table with a young person, and... No, I mean, um, young people with babies, like, like the toddler group people. Young um, parents. Young yes, parents. that person couldn't come. at the la They were sick that day. But we had a representative from that group who will get this information, and I'll be asking for their input. So... Um, there was someone on the list that fit that qualification. So Joanne, it sounds like you're going to talk with Allison more. What is your hope? Like, where from here? Well, I'm hoping that Allison, you know, works her data magic yeah. and comes up with like, you know, things that are connected. I think, like for me, there were things that clearly stood out, right? But. Um, I'm hoping that if we can get a questionnaire to a wider group, then we could find out are we on the right track. I mean, when we look at things like hours, that's like a bit, you know, we have to like really, we can't just jump on and make changes by a small group. And um, so I'm hoping that we have like a report from the expert next time. Mm -hmm. Is really, I kind of felt like my expertise was like, knowing how to do these and pulling them together mm -hmm. and now it's time to put it in the hands of the person who can really um, chomp through them. So share if you will around opportunities. You want me to open opportunities? Yeah. So we had like a lot of programming. I noticed mm -hmm. it was a lot of programming um, which it's interesting because we felt that way when we opened the library that that was like really important to us. Mm -hmm. um, this seems like such a, this seems like a really rich area for further exploration because I think the strengths and weaknesses I felt like the quick t the quick time was was good. Um, the opportunities you really have to engage your imagination. Right. And so I I guess I I do wonder I guess a little bit about the methods on this one just because. Like, I felt like our group was kind of starting to think outside the box right towards the end. Um, and so I wonder whether, like, and we might some, get there. Some, yeah. good, like, some good iterations that can, can really develop that. Because, like, to say, like, we've got, we've got programming, we should have more programming. Mm -hmm. like, okay, let's keep going with that. Well, I yeah. think that's what will yeah. happen. I think, right. I right. think, and I don't want to speak for Allison, but that she'll probably look, and it's why I wasn't so worked up about like really dividing them up, is like seeing like, oh, okay, it looks like people want programming. What do we do? Do we have small focus yeah. groups? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. I think that the, we would absolutely have yeah. to do that. But I think she's saying, let's survey first, make sure that that feels mm -hmm. okay to an outside, mm -hmm. like a bigger group. And then we might do focus groups and come back after that. Mm -hmm. And which is why I hesitated to give the Tuesday night group a like, we're gonna come back in a month because it yeah, may take us right. a little while. It will. And they'll of course <laughs> be invited to anything that we do. But I also didn't wanna put in that group's hands the kind of task oriented, boring work of getting that stuff done. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, be part of it. We want your ideas, but we don't want you to have to, like, make a survey and, and get it out. So um, that's kind of what I was hoping, that this group would be okay with going forward. I just wanted to make two observations. Um, it seemed to me that across the board, staff were appreciated and more were wanted. Mm -hmm. um, and any threats to staff 
caused a fair amount of concern. Um, in terms of the opportunities, it's like, if we only had a basement, <laughs> there are things in terms of just requiring physical space. Mm -hmm. um, when Alex was talking about, oh, someplace where we can bring our friends from out of town. Well, I mean, you can do that in there, but I think what she's really sort of reflecting is that after school, that room is full of kids. Mm -hmm. And then they start migrating out into other spaces in the library. And basically what I've seen, there's not, it's not a problem, except sometimes the noise gets to be a little bit much, but I mean, who would have thought in the planning process that the YA room might not be large enough. Right. Well, because we didn't have one before, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and we also had to go with numbers, and we went with. Yes, they're absolutely but There's creative ways trips. of, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something out of the box right now, just answering that, like, and I don't, I don't wanna get stuck in a rabbit hole, but, you know, if this meet room isn't used in the afternoons, maybe it's turned into a homework center yeah, yeah. for teens. Right. Like, yeah. there's ways to rethink yeah. the yeah. same space yeah. Yeah. and use it to, like, help expand. Too. I have and seen I them in the small meeting room sometimes. I think part of what that is is also kind of, like, hearing what's underneath some of the things that people have said. So, right, like, they were talking about, like, the building should have a basement. Well, okay, that's physically impossible. Right. The no. building should have a second floor. Okay, so actually what you're saying is we need more space. What do we need more space yes. for? How can we repurpose space for that? So right. so like the reading underneath thing, I think mm -hmm. is, is part of that next step that I think will be really interesting. And you said two things. Oh, staffing and space. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Did you have any like thing? No, um, no not that people have said. Okay. And I will be sending this out to the participants tonight. I just wanted to hear this group first, and then I'll be sending it out um, this evening. So that, and, and just kind of an update on where we're going so that they're part of the process and invested. Thank you. Thank you for... Well, I also think it will help, like, when we think about Patrick's goals, goals for the, like, we can yeah. start bringing everything in alignment, and it'll be, it'll yeah. work nicely, I think. Okay. Anything else on that, or shall we move on to the roof? Do you have everything you need to move forward? And as long as this group is kind of, you don't have to vote, but just yeah. okay with kind of Alice digging in a little bit yeah. and bringing a proposal back. Seems like yeah. the right next okay. step. Oh, no, oh, she's... Yeah. Now, does she have time to do that? No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she, I checked with her. I said she already has this too, yeah. and she's already looked it over, and kind of that was her first suggestion for me to bring here. So the roof. <laughs> yeah, so the opposite. So um, Jack and I met with Patrick. We looked over the proposals and then we found out the leak roof was leaking. Right, was in that order, right? Uh, I did talk to Mark Sullivan today. Um, Mark immediately said, before I did anything, I would just get someone out there to look at the roof and see what's going on. He suggested Florence Roofing. They do a lot of commercial roof. He said that roofs, roofs, roofs <laughs> sounds funny. Um, he, uh, you know, we could go with someone else, but it, it was, I asked him, could you make a suggestion of who does commercial roofs? And he said, um, he thinks that, you know, it could be the flashing underneath, and Jack pointed out it could be something totally different, right? So, um, Jack, do you want to, like, pick up and... Yeah, I, 
rather than going with an engineering company right now, it seems to make sense to talk to a professional roofing company and see what they find out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, rather than doing this broad sweep, focus focus our efforts a little mm -hmm. bit and see what the problems are. Is there a chance that there's some pipes there that are leaking, some condensation? Mm -hmm. There's all sorts of possibilities. I think the engineer would give a broader sweep of everything going on with the roof. I think Florence Roofing, with Mark's suggestion, which was pretty brilliant and, and pretty well-timed, is the right next step to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was thinking about this in terms of just if this was your own house and you noticed a leak in your ceiling, what would you do? You would call a roofer immediately yeah, and right. say, yeah. this has got to stop. Well, I, well, and, then, I, I'm sorry. and then deal with other issues, but first yeah. find out from a roofer yeah. Yeah. why is the roof leaking. Well, I think the whole process has not evolved because it was initially, do we need to do something to the roof before we can put solar panels yeah. on? Mm -hmm. And now that there's evidence of water infiltration, it changes the focus so that I think this may be an appropriate, a more appropriate step at this time. Joy? I was wondering, given the weather next week and the concern about water coming in, if it would be appropriate if either one of us called and got a roofer out here, we allocated the money, and or put it in Sue's lap. Like, I don't know what the next steps were, but it seems like we shouldn't wait to have a roofer right. look at it, um, given that Patrick's away. I mean, it is our house, right? Like, it's our house. And they I, I don't think it should be one of us. I think it needs to be the director or the assistant director. Um, I will talk to Sue tomorrow morning, and I am sure that she and Patrick will talk, because he's fine with being in touch with him about business mm -hmm. matters. Mm -hmm. This is not just a lie on the beach under the palm trees, because you know, he yeah. called me at 9 o'clock this morning and mm -hmm. said, have you seen? And I'm like, no, I haven't seen those emails yet. Um, but I think that would be the best way to move ahead. So I will talk to Sue tomorrow. And actually, I will send an email tonight to Sue and Patrick and ask them to figure out between the two of them how they might prefer to move forward. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I know, like, I as trustee chair, I've had to do those things in the past, like, but but what I would say is that do we need to have a vote for money, and if so, could we have it tonight so that they know they have funding? Do you see what I'm saying? Yes, absolutely. Um, is there a maintenance fund of sorts that you can draw on? There are several. There's not one specifically dedicated to maintenance. There, I believe there are still some construction funds mm -hmm. left. Okay. And if not those, we have library incentive grant, municipal equalization grant money from the state yeah. that we could use for that purpose. Mm -hmm. So I will let the comptroller figure out which or Patrick figure out which pocket it comes from. But if someone would like to make a motion for up to a thousand or fifteen hundred, I, I don't would know. make a motion up to two thousand yeah. dollars okay. to come out of the fund that Patrick and or Linda Sanderson think is the best fund to remove mm -hmm. that money from. Mm -hmm. And I second that. Moving. And I just don't know Florence Roofing well enough to know if they're booked out for weeks or months or if they have someone that they can send out in emergencies. Mm -hmm. Good point. That's well, what, we'll yeah. find out. Yeah. Any further discussion? All in favor? Thank you. 
in roofing issues just need to get handled immediately mm -hmm. as fast as we possibly can oh, envelope yeah, yeah build it, an envelope it's interesting we had mass save come to our house a couple of weeks ago and they actually discovered a small water leak by our our chimney our mm -hmm. metal chimney inside like, oh. Oh, but that's something that i can handle right it's an easy fix i'm glad they found it yeah Absolutely. Mark pointed out it could be the flashing under the roof. Like there's just so many. Mm -hmm. So this is good that we're like yeah. the roofer might look and give us some good information. Okay. Yeah. Can and I it, ask, is it, was it the same place that there were spots that they saw on the ceiling there like was last year or was it a different location? There was the one little spot in the local history mm -hmm. room. Yeah. There is now a second mm -hmm. spot in the local history room and one in Patrick's office. I so it's know. contiguous, yeah, yeah, but not exactly the same. Yeah. And I just wonder if there's any Piper. piping or something to the bathrooms or anywhere else that it might be condensing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. There's so many possibilities. Yeah. yeah. I will hazard a guess that there would not be plumbing, plumbing water there. Right. Yeah. There could be condensation from air handling. Mm. Yeah but we're not running the air conditioners right now yet. Anyway, right. um, I don't think our speculation is gonna yeah. help the matter, but. Thank, thanks for asking on it, Linda. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yes, and we'll go home and do that. Um, does anybody have anything else as an agenda item? Or I can go home and go to work now. <laughs> um, we did well, give you work, didn't we? I think that doing the minutes Maybe if we could just set a schedule so we know who's taking mm. minute notes every month. I have no objections whatsoever. <laughs> I said I would do tonight's. Is that all right, Dana? That's a fine idea. So it's a, the fairest idea. April, May. How far out do we want to go? Do we want to do it? Three well, there's going to be an well, election in May. Yeah, there will be an election and then electing new officers, which would include a clerk. So we we'll just have a couple months. All right, so so would it be the so April and May? April and May. I, is, the, April is our meeting before the election? Our April meeting? Yeah. No, May meeting. May. Yeah. Well, when is the election? <laughs> I know you have it's to on have the town yeah. clerk's web page. And I well, we don't have to figure that out tonight. Yeah. But um, well, but at the least we would need we would we would still need someone to do the minutes for the May meeting because even if a new clerk is elected, they may not be in the middle of taking mm -hmm. minutes when they are elected. <laughs> so, so we need we need an April and a May person. So Susan, I'll volunteer for May. The election is May twenty first. And our meeting is the fourteenth. Okay. Okay. In which case, then we need someone to do minutes in June as well. All right. So for April, do you want April or June? Um, I just, I kind of feel like I have a lot with the with this, and I feel like like most of my stuff on the agenda was mine. So I prefer to take minutes maybe later when I have less on the agenda. It kind of feels like. June. Well, who's in for April? Me. Okay. And then you. Okay. Well, we'll just leave that for now then. Okay. Thank you, Susan. Do we have any other items or observations? Um, I don't know, Jess and Susan, if you would want it or not, but I consolidated all of the information from Joanne's spreadsheet. I thought you gave these to everyone. Sorry. Oh, I, I gave one to Jack because he asked yeah, for yeah. it. But whoever... But they're, no, they're copies. Okay. I made copies. Okay. It just... The one thing I did was put spaces in so that... Oh, I'm if sorry. You go across... All of the collection things are 
And, and this data will come out arranged differently fairly soon. Well, yeah. It's, it's a way to look at it a little bit. Yep. Sometimes paper has an advantage. Mm -hmm. That's all. Thank you. I found it easier to sort of <laughs> absorb. <laughs> but I'm the oldest one, so there you go. So are you open for taking questions and other things? I guess I'm wondering, does anything else need to happen with the meadow and the plantings? I'm just wondering as we're getting toward greener times and robins are flying into <laughs> town. <laughs> I saw Ooh, nice. Um, I don't have enough information to know exactly what a next step for that is. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to be that many weeks until we actually have a meeting because I will get it in on time. So we meet the second <laughs> Tuesday. Yeah. And one other bit of business, we've been pushing on the Climate Change Committee um, to investigate the possibility of putting solar on the transfer station. So having, you know, a two megawatt system, which is enormous, there. Now, given Amherst's history and other towns, often it can take years for that to happen. But we are doing a little bit of a push with that. Good. So, Fantastic. Yeah. Well, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. <laughs> Second. All in favor. Thank you.